This front row is scaring the shit out of me right now. <laughs> Just, I don't know, the, 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 the shyest people. Let's put them in the front. Good. <laughs> here's, here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that somehow um, the second row of really attractive women <laughs> are going to have sex with the front row somehow at the end of the night. Wouldn't that be great? Just do that. Just, just come climb over and just start blowing them. Just do it for them. <laughs> just do it. Do it. They'll be talking about it for years. Are, are they? Are they? Are they with you guys? Are you? Is this, this is oh, the math team, I feel like. <laughs> That'd be great. We'll be at the math league competition. We were blown by these women, it was amazing. We can tell you statistically how utterly impossible it was and yet it happened. <laughs> oh my god, good, okay, good. Good, okay, that's good. All right, good. All right, fabulous. I've got the older people over here. I never know what to tell you people. I never know what to say. I feel like nothing I can do. I, my, the sum of my experiences equal nothing to what you guys have been through. You've been through Eisenhower, you've been through Kennedy, you've been through Nixon. What have I been through? Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Team Space Nine, Star Trek... It's, that, that, that's good. It would be even amazing is if you guys had sex with them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the story at the math competition. Think of the story. Um, uh, it was a great night, then it got a little weird. <laughs> it's cool, I think now we're on healthcare. I don't know. <laughs> I know how that works. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm 32 and still a virgin. <laughs> I always love how that just kills the energy of the room right there. Um, I, I, I want to assure you that, that I really am a virgin. I'm not just doing this as an act. Uh, because people will come up after a show and they'll say, I don't believe you. I don't think you're really a virgin. I believe you. Like, and that's great, by the way. Like, it's better that than me say I'm a 32-year-old virgin. People go, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> that's about the vibe. We know you have a lightsaber in the trunk of your car. <laughs> I, at one point, I had two. Um... <laughs> <laughs> people, uh, um, oh man, I, I, uh, people ask me uh, how far I've gotten with a member of the opposite sex. We're all familiar with the baseball metaphor, right? First, second, third, and home. Yeah. Yeah. My city has no team. <laughs> really ought to build a stadium, guys, because if I build it, I will come. <laughs> For the younger people, that's a Field of Dreams reference. <laughs> But they're older people. I think you were too old for that. That's a Field of Dreams reference. I'm not sure. I don't know where that... You might have been at Marty or whatever the movie was. I don't know. Uh, I, uh, uh, I was having a nervous breakdown, you know, the other day. <laughs> uh, uh, crying at home because I realized I don't want to... I don't want to be, I don't want to be a 32-year-old virgin. I'm not happy. Uh, so I tried signing up on uh, Tinder. So I can tell that reaction indicates you're, you've been on Tinder and... Or you are on Tinder, I don't know. Listen, if, if you're on Tinder, or if you know someone on Tinder, I'm the guy, I'm the, uh, my picture is me, uh, arm in arm, with uh, the uh, Admiral Akbar from Star Wars. <laughs> so yes, ladies, it is a trap. <laughs> Math team totally got that joke. <laughs> it was interesting because uh, I was, I found, I, I was very selective. I was saying no to a lot of women, and after about... 40 or 50 no's, a picture of a guy pops up. And I just wonder if that's Tinder saying, maybe there's another problem. <laughs> and Tinder might be right, because for the last 10 years, even though I thought I was heterosexual, I've kind of been looking at both straight and gay porn. Probably lost the old people there. <laughs> right. Uh, it's, I, it, was, it started, I don't know, in college. I was looking at the straight porn for some time. I'd become quite an expert, and I thought, well, I want to look at the gay porn and see how the other half lives. <laughs> that one cackle in the back is freaking me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I, uh, uh, I gotta tell you, I think the gay porn actors are better than the straight porn actors. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I have a lot of experience watching it. Um, I just, I just, I think there's more intimacy in the scenes. I believe them more. I think a lot of the straight porn actresses. I, I, you're phoning it in. You're phoning it in. I want legit. And I don't know. Uh, so uh, I, I've been in a lot of conflict about this. 
uh, a lot of conflict because I've never had sex, but I think I'm heterosexual, but at the same time, I sometimes I'm attracted to guys. It's, my sexuality is a theory at this point. <laughs> And so like today, like earlier today actually, we were, we were doing the podcast and I was the co-host and uh, there's a comedian who came up and he was one of the headliners and he, as soon as he took off his coat, my penis went, oh hello. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, can we, not, can we not have this existential crisis in the middle of a podcast? Can we not do it? And so then, while, you know, he's talking with the host, I'm mentally sitting there going, could I have sex with him? Could I, what, what can I do with him? What can I not do with him? What, how can I, can I do, what can I, could I... I kind of want to lick his tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> that totally lost the audience. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest. Math team is now not on board. We're like, <laughs> they're calculating. Okay, literally at minute, uh, s minute six, that's when he lost the audience licking the tattoos. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, so I'm, I've got a lot of lot of conflict going on. Uh, I got to figure out um, Tinder. I don't know Tinder, Grinder, one of the two. I don't know. I've got to figure that out too. Um, I uh, uh, there. Oh, oh, the check drop. Oh, perfect, excellent. Did somebody say it's a? T did one of the old people say it's a tough time? You're not old. Wait a minute. No, you're not old. Not as old as they are. Uh, <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. They have a sense of humor about it. They're okay, right? They can tell. Just turn the hearing aids down for this part. <laughs> oh my god. Good. Uh, listen, I'm just I'm partially out of myself. It's fine. That's good. You're still you're you're freaking me out. I'm telling you why you're freaking me out. Let me tell you why. It's because you, your hair is similar to my aunt's hair. And I just remember the last time I visited home, my aunt was like, "Oh, so you're doing stand-up comedy? Are you talking about the family?" Thank you. My aunt, for some reason, she's kind of acts gay. It's weird. She probably is gay. I don't know. We oh, got it. Uh, this is totally derailed. Okay, I need to bring this home because this is this is the last. I've got to you know this is this has got to be great because this is the last. I'm the last guy. And if I don't do if I don't do well here, you might leave going, well, the Jew fucked it up at the end. We can't have that. I was all fine until that fucking bi Jew got up. And started revealing intimate details. And then he just blew it. I didn't get laid in college, and I was a theater major. I'm gonna say that again. I didn't get laid in college and I was a theater major. I don't know if you've been to a theater major party, there's twice as much crying, twice as much sex, and then the girls show up. <laughs> there's this other guy there, his name was Kyle, uh, and he got all the women and I was very jealous. And I had this teacher who said, listen Josh, the women want to have sex with Kyle, but they're gonna want to marry you. I think they're going to want to marry me and continue to have sex with Kyle. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. My name is Josh.